Okay, hey, how you going? Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Um, do you, don't know if you're aware of it, but um, in the United States, they uh, treat the alcohol uh, radioactive. Yeah, it sounds like bullshit, hey? It's not, it's true. Okay, so what are some mind-blowing facts that sound like bullshit that are actually true? Okay, the answer by physics professor UC Berkeley author, Energy of Future Presidents, co-founder of Berkeley Earth Encore. Liquor and wine is illegal in the US unless it is radioactive when tested. The drinking alcohol is required to have at least 400 radioactive decays per minute for each 750 mil. Explanation. The United States government has decided that alcohol for consumption must be made from natural materials such as grains, grapes or fruit. That rules out alcohol made from petroleum. Such alcohol is chemical, chemically identical to natural alcohol and just as safe. There is no difference in taste. So why the rule? The reasons have to do with history. Keeping alcohol more expensive, a goal of the anti-alcohol lobby, and minimising consumption, the goal of the liquor lobby. How can you tell the difference between natural alcohol and alcohol made from petroleum? There's no chemical difference. The United States Bureau of Alcohol, alcohol Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, charged with enforcing the natural alcohol rule, has only one reliable test. Check for radioactivity. Natural alcohol gets carbon from plants and plants got the carbon from the atmosphere, atmospheric carbon dioxide. The atmospheric carbon dioxide is radioactive because of the continued bombardment of cosmic rays. Particles coming from space that collide with nitrogen molecules and turn it into C4 radiocarbon. Only one atom in a trillion carbons in the atmosphere is radiocarbon, but that's enough to be detectable. One of the authors of the book, RM, invented the most sensitive way to detect the C4 called the accelerator or mass spectrometry. Petroleum was also made from atmospheric carbon, but it was buried hundreds of millions of years ago, isolated from radioactive atmosphere. Radiocarbon has a half-life of about 5,700 years, and after 100 million years, there is nearly an atom, gnarly an atom of C14 left true. Bootleggers could get some C14 and add it to the legal liquor, but that's beyond the skill set of most of them. Interesting, isn't it? But that's not the only thing that has radioactive in it. Technically, all food is slightly radioactive. It's just because all food and their organic molecules contain carbon, which naturally exists as a mixture of isotopes, including radioactive carbon-14. Carbon-14 is used for carbon dating, a method for identifying the age of fossils. However, some foods emit more radiation than others. Here's a look at 10 naturally radioactive foods and how much radiation you can get from them. Number one, Brazil nuts. If there were an award for the most radioactive food, it would go to Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts contain high levels of two radioactive elements, radium and potassium. Potassium is good for you, is used in many biochemical reactions, and is one of the reasons why the human body is slightly, self slightly radioactive. Radium occurs in the ground where the trees grow and is absorbed by the plant's root system. Brazil nuts emit over 6,600 PCI per kilogram of radiation. Most of that radiation passes harmlessly through the body. Meanwhile, the high levels of healthful selenium and other minerals make the nuts healthier to eat in moderation. Lima beans. Lima beans are high in radioactive potassium, 40, and also radon-226. Expect to get 2 to 5 PCI per kilogram from radon-226 and 4,640 PCI per kilogram of potassium, 40. You don't get any benefit from the radon, but the potassium is a nutritious mineral. Lima beans are also a good source for non-radioactive iron. Bananas. Bananas are sufficiently radioactive. They can set off radiation alarms at ports and airports. They offer 1 PCI per kilogram from radon and radon 226 and 3520 PCI per kilogram from potassium 40. The high potassium content is part why the bananas are so nutritious. You do absorb the radiation, but it's not harmful. I think there was a story I was reading before it said uh, you'd need to eat about 100,000 um, of them. Carrots. Carrots give you a 
Pico Curie, Pico Curie, sorry if I say it wrong, or two of radon radiation per kilogram from radon 226 and about 3,400 PCI per kilogram from potassium 40. The root vegetables are also high in protective antioxidants. Potatoes and with carrots, white potatoes offer between 1 and 2.5 PCI per kilogram of radon 226 and 3,400 PCI kilogram of potassium 40. Foods made from potatoes such as chips and french fries are slightly similar to slightly radioactive. Low sodium salt. Low sodium or light salt con contains potassium chloride, KCI. You'll get around 3,000 PCI kilogram per serving. No sodium salt contains more potassium chloride than low sodium salt and thus is more radioactive. Red meat. Red meat contains appreciable amounts of potassium and thus potassium 40. Your steak or burger glows to the tune of about 3,000 PCI per kilogram. Meat is also high in protein and iron. The amount of saturated fat in red meat presents more of a health risk than the radiation level. Beer. Beer gets its radioactivity from the potassium 40. Expect to get about 390 PCI kilogram. That's only about a tenth of the radiation you'd get from the same amount of carrot juice. So from radiation standpoint, which do you say is healthier? Drinking water. Drinking water isn't pure HDO. Your radiation doses vary in. According to the water source, on average you expect to pick up, pick up about 0.17 PCI gram from radon 226. Peanut butter. Peanut butter releases 0 0.12 PCI gram of radiation of radioactive potassium 40, radium 226 and radium 228. It's also high in protein, also a good source of healthy monosaturated fats, so don't let the slight rat scare you off. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's always background radiation in, in nature and everything we do. Um, I heard that um, the airline companies quite often rotate um, air hostess uh, and pilots uh, certain areas due to solar radiation and they have a higher uh, risk of uh, cancers. Interesting isn't it? Did you know about that? Thanks for watching. Bye now.